field for tonight's first race. Coming out onto the track, printing on the post, Daily Double and Exacto Wagering. Number one is Arctic Experience, owned by Charles Waldron, driven by Doug Routsong. Two, Wigshire Windy, owned by Ayers Ratliff and Robert Carroll Jr. with Dave Rapine. Three, Prom King, owned by Delbert Wiley with Keith Justice. Number four, Fantastic Joe, owned by Jim Hazelwood, driver change to Mike Wilder. Five is Kelly Tuck Chance, owned by Tom Osborne with Mark Winters. Six is Raven Elmer, owned by Walter Kaplinger with Jeff Smith. Seven is Max Sam, owned by Jack McDonald with Terry Thompson, Jr. Eight is Noble Mountaineer, owned by Neil Long, David Ogan, and Al Long with Brad Hanners. Nine Ike's Last, owned by Marvin Conkright with Hugh Beatty, Jr. Ten is Logan, owned by Dean Collins. Kevin and Jeffrey, Dean Collins is in the sulky. Parade Marshal tonight, Kathy McDonald, three minutes till post. Field for the first at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Wakeshire Windy between horses takes the lead. There goes Kelly Tuck Chance up on the outside. Prom King driving between the dueling leaders to third. Arctic Experience gets away fourth. Fought up on the outside by Raven Elmer. The three is on a break. Moving midway on the top turn. Wakeshire Windy is there by a length and a half. Arctic Experience is second. Kelly Tuck Chance drives up on the outside to third. Raven Elmer is fourth. As they move by the opening quarter in 29 and 1. They're off that top turn and racing past the stands. Fantastic Joe moves in to be fifth. The great Logan is sixth. Past the stands in seventh, Max Sam. Two more lengths into Noble Mountaineer. After that comes Prom King. As they move around the top turn, head of the quarter mile pole. Driving away on top by about two lengths. Wakeshire Windy continues to lead the way. Arctic Experience is second. Raven Elmer is third. Kelly Tuck Chance on the outside fourth. Fantastic Joe to fifth. Logan is next as they straighten out down the back stretch. Gap of five to Max Sam. Here comes Ike's last. Three more to Prom King. Far back trailer not getting into this one at all. Noble Mountaineer, 58 and four. Field of 10 moves to three quarters. Still in command, Wakeshire Windy by a length and a half. Arctic Experience in second. Raven Elmer a closer third. Next in line, Fantastic Joe to fourth. Logan is fifth and 128. Field moves to the head of the stretch, jumping off stride inside the pylons. That is the one Arctic Experience. The one is on a break. Opening up with about a 10 length lead. Wakeshire Windy, he is all alone. Wakeshire Windy on top by a good margin. Here comes Logan flying down the middle of the racetrack, but it might be too little, too late. Wakeshire Windy, tiring badly, the 10's coming 100, too wide here, and who do you like? First is now official, here's two, Wakeshire Windy. Four-year-old bay gutting by Lord Eddie out of Cheryl E. Lane, owned by Ayers Ratliff and Robert Carroll. Trained by Mike Rapine, driven coast to coast by Dave Rapine. Life and death to hold there in 159 and 2 and establish a lifetime best. Number two, Wakeshire Windy, the winner. 210 exact to 270 60. The try, 38 72 40. Windows are now up and on tonight's second race. Russell Schwartz driving three. Trentwood post time at 7.56.